Hello, I am Harish. Welcome back to the channel where I showcase ways to build apps, prototypes, uh, Alexa skills and so on. Uh, but in this video, it's going to be a special one. I'm going to walk you through a really super fast process of creating a machine learning model without touching any code or crunching any stats or learning a lot of maths. While it is true that you need to do all of those to create really efficient machine learning models, Google has come up with a tool where you can create simple machine learning models uh, using images, audio and postures where uh, these can be deployed directly into production really ready apps as long as the data you use to create these models is uh, in your control and it is legit data that you are authorized to use and so on and so forth right so what is a model there is going to be a couple of jargon that you need to bear with me in this one so what is a model model is uh, basically it represents what the machine has learned depending on the data that you've given to the machine to learn on so and uh, it i would i would call the model as the output of the algorithm which is created uh, from the data you provided so for example if i show that this is number two or this symbol is number two and i move it around and teach the machine that uh, all of these are still showing the number two right so the model after getting created starts identifying this as number two and anything else as not number two right so yeah the other thing is training so what is training training is simply teaching the machine to find and identify patterns in the data and in this example specifically which i'm going to show in a few seconds i'm going to show you how the machine uh, is going to learn what what cats look like or how dogs look like and uh, identifying these images based on the class that we provide so class is again uh, the type of images that you provide so in this specific example that I'm going to build on the classes are going to be cats as you can see the beautiful images uh, from Unsplash huge shout out to all the photographers who have contributed to Unsplash so we're going to use cats dogs and horses to create the machine learning model and if you're still not confused or if you're confused please stick with me uh, until I show you the example and uh, yeah let's get to it and you'll understand what i mean about all the jargon that i just mentioned classes models training and all of that and the tool that we're going to use is from google google created this tool for enabling people to learn machine learning and how machine learning works so it is called teachable machine dot with google.com i would completely use this tool to learn what machine learning is what training data is what are models and uh, how you can probably use these in uh, applications and create your own working machine learning models. So as you can see on the website, there are different uh, types of, uh, yeah, there are different types of uh, models that you can create. One is images, one is uh, sounds and poses. So yeah, there are three steps. One is collect data or gather the data and then train the model and the last one is uh, export the model and use it in uh, production so the training model and all of this happens in the browser itself so google is not uploading any of the data that you provide to any uh, any of their services essentially everything runs on the browser and on your machine this is explicitly mentioned in the website that's why i'm saying it but you know you have to learn to uh, give the benefit of doubt right so yep let's uh, quickly get into the demo so what i've done uh, as you as i've already shown is i've gathered a bunch of horse images bunch of dog images bunch of cat images what we're going to do is we're creating a model where we will teach the machine what a cat looks like a dog looks like and a horse look looks like and then we are going to test if it works by giving it a image which is the testing phase where you test if the model is working efficiently or not and if the machine is able to uh, predict the uh, the animal in the image in this specific example right you can you also use the same website to create 
models uh, depending on audio files or sounds and also poses as i said the two pose one pose th those are one kind of poses and if there are specific dance poses that you want to try and teach the machine that you that also you can do and uh, um, yeah as you can see in more the example they they say you can also classify different body positions if the body is squatting or if it is standing or if it is not there at all in the image so on and so forth right so yeah let's get started and the first step is to uh, gather data i've already gathered the data and uh, put it aside on my desktop so i'm going to click get started and go into the tool and then create the classes classes are different types of data you are providing in our case it is uh, so i'll select the image project first and then in our case it is cats dogs and horses so class one uh, i'm going to name it cats uh, class two i'm going to name it dogs and i'm going to add a third one that is called horses right and the next step is to upload the data since i already have the images from Uns unsplash i'm going to upload them otherwise you can also do webcam and record yourself live and teach uh, the machine with your own data that is recorded from the live webcam right so i'm going to upload uh, data here and uh, yep again two ways to upload you can if you have a large data set sitting in your google drive you can also import it directly but i'm going to just do drag and drop from my uh, desktop so the first one i'm going to upload is obviously cats so cats drag and drop it is going to upload all the images quickly and uh, i'm only using less number of images so that the example is done quickly and you can see the output fast but uh, i would recommend having a lot of images and in, if you're building an image based model uh, and uh, the more you train the better is the prediction right so go to dogs i'm going to upload those as well click on upload quickly select the dog images that i have and upload all of them and uh, the last one is obviously horses i will do it once this is done i would highly recommend you uh, to learn the basics of what machine learning is and uh, also try and explore this tool more once you finish watching this video right so i'll upload horse images as well really quickly so the testing images where we see if the machine is able to predict or not are not part of these images they are separate images right so i also don't know uh, as in what images what because i'm not seeing the preview on my desktop so i'll just drag and drop and see if it is able to predict properly or not so now once this is done you have all the images added the next step is to train the model I, I can click on train there is advanced as well where you can hover over the question mark and understand what what each of these value means and what changing each of these value will mean to the model right so i'm going to leave it at the default because default is good enough and uh, yeah if you click under the hood it will show you detailed information once i click on train model as to what is happening so uh, again remember that this training is happening in the browser so images don't get uploaded anywhere and the model is created on the fly in the browser with the processing power of your current computer right so i'm going to click on train model and uh, as it does this what i'm going to do is i'll fast forward this so that the model is getting created and then we go directly into testing as you can see there is a notice that uh, it asks you not to close the browser so make sure you don't close the browser while this is happening otherwise it won't work right now now that this is done i'm going to close this one the under under the hood and now the last step is to test the model that got created right so we have the train model ready we need to test it to make sure uh, the output is accurate enough so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to change the input here from webcam to upload file basically right so now i'm going to drag and drop a first image where there is a probably a cat and a dog yep and uh, it is identifying the dog because the cat is uh, from the backside uh, as in the angle of the photograph is from the backside and we only 
taught the machine to see cats and identify them from the front right so let's see let's see another image let's see what happens here i just dropped another image and yes cats 100 percent and then let's see if it is able to identify the last one yes horses with a probability of 100 percent then let's see one more image and great it is ident being able to identify uh, dogs as well right so the more data you provide uh, the accuracy will depend on that and since i've only given sh a short list of images it'll obviously show 100 uh, percent accuracy because there is less data from which it is learned and uh, really less number of patterns also to learn from so yes that's it that's how you create a machine learning model and now the last step is to export this model you can export it and download the model itself or host it online so you can click on export model and it will give you a shareable link uh, here as you can see this this link will appear in just a bit and you can also decide to upload your model somewhere else and there is an example written in javascript which is code that you can test online uh, or on this website you can directly go go to this website p5.js and test this out this model will start working and you can give, upload images and test it out or even use your webcam this this example will work for that i will make another video where i will use this model and then show you how to use this in your own web applications which definitely involves a bit of coding right but until now it won't need any coding as sort right this also uh, can be used as part of a tensorflow project if you are a developer you know what it is and also a tensorflow light project right so yep that's it these links are free as in the shareable link is free it is available for you to use anywhere you want and uh, yep that's how you simply create a machine learning model uh, if you like the content uh, do drop a like on the video and uh, consider subscribing to the channel because that will help me make more such videos and uh, with that we come to the end of this tutorial thanks for watching